Not that we don't spend every weekend together anyway. Not that we don't see each other every single day. If you told me three years ago I'd be in a two-year-long relationship by the time I was 17, I would have laughed in your face. Charlie Spring! As I walked through the box four entrance underneath a banner that says, Wildcats, Harry Green approaches me, arms outstretched. He's wearing a 12-year-old high school musical cheerleader costume and is exposing a lot more thigh than is probably appropriate for school. The fort is huge. They've taken over two tennis courts. Along with a hilarious amount of cardboard, they've also stolen at least ten tables from various classrooms and have a fully functioning barbecue set up in between the two courts. A couple of people are handing out burgers and buns. Vampire Weekend is playing from a wireless speaker in a corner. Most, if not all, of Year 13 are here. It's a huge year group compared to the rest of the school. A lot of the Higgs girls from that year group moved to Truham after there was a big fire at Higgs, and a few buildings burned down. Long story. Harry puts his hands on his hips and grins up at me. Thoughts? Harry Green, a fairly short guy with very tall hair, is probably the most notorious individual in the entire school, partly due to how many parties he throws, and partly due to the fact that he never, ever shuts up. I raise my eyebrows. About the fort or about your thighs? Both, mate. Both are great, I say, deadpan. Good job. Keep it up. Harry steps to one side and lunges. I knew the skirt was a good decision. I should do this more often. Definitely. Harry used to be a pretty nasty person. Just one of the many older boys who gave me shit when I was younger and the only out kid in school. But over the years, thankfully, he's gotten over himself and realised that being homophobic isn't cool. Not that I've forgiven him, though. Nick and I still think he's a massive knob. Still in a lunging position, he asks, Did Shannon send you? Have you come to shut down our fun? Technically, yes. Are you going to? Obviously not. Harry nods. You're going to go far, mate. You're gonna go far. Nick is usually very easy to spot in a crowd, but today almost everyone is wearing red. There are a few people who clearly couldn't be bothered, one being my sister Tori, who's in her black truum uniform, sitting on the blue asphalt in a corner talking to her friend Rita. But apart from her and a couple of others, everyone blurs into one giant mass of red. Nick's over there. I look back at Harry and he's pointing towards the far left corner, grinning at me. Then he starts walking towards the corner, humming, We're all in this together. And I follow him. Nick! Mate! Harry shouts over the crowds of year 13s, all holding food and red plastic cups and taking photos of each other. And there he is. He turns round from a small group of people a slightly dazed expression on his face as if he's not quite sure whether he's imagining Harry's voice. I've been going out with Nick Nelson since I was 14. He likes rugby and Formula One, animals, especially dogs, the Marvel Universe, the sound felt tips make on paper, rain, drawing on shoes, Disneyland and minimalism. He also likes me. His hair is dark blonde and his eyes are brown and he is two inches taller than me, if you care about that sort of thing. I think he's pretty hot, but that might just be my opinion. When he spots us, he waves enthusiastically and when we finally reach him, he looks at me and says, All right. Nick's high school musical costume consists of a pair of bright red gym shorts and a red tank top. He's pinned a piece of paper to the front with a very badly drawn wildcat on it. If I'm honest, he's had worse outfits. You didn't text me back, I say. He sips his drink. I was too busy getting my head in the game. Then he holds up a disposable camera and, before I have the chance to smile or make sure I look in any way presentable, takes a photo of me. A second too late, I hold up my hand in front of the camera. Nick! He lets out a loud laugh and starts rewinding the camera before putting it in his pocket. Another one for the Derp Charlie collection? Oh, my God. Harry's already wandered off to talk to another group, so Nick steps a little closer and our hands automatically...
Today, I'm going to show you how to get this audiobook for free in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll guide you step by step. It's really simple and fast. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to listen to your audiobook for free. So let's get started. Here are the steps you need to follow. Click on the link below the video to access the audiobook page. I want to emphasize that the method I'm showing you works with any book from the Amazon audiobook catalog offered by Audible. You will be redirected to an audiobook website where you can read the book's summary and listen to a free sample. He could read it in his own good time as many times as he wanted, and this would help him to absorb the message. To get the complete audiobook, click on Start for Free. Make sure the option Free with Trial is displayed on the page. Then, click on the Try Audible button. You will be redirected to the Amazon website. If you already have an Amazon account, log in. Otherwise, you can easily create an account. Now, if you don't have an Amazon account, here's how to create one. Click on the Create Your Amazon Account button at the bottom of the page. Fill in the field of the form with your first name, last name, mobile phone number or email address, and password. Then click Continue to validate. You will receive a verification code at the email address you provided. Log in to that email account, copy the verification code, and paste it into the box requested by Amazon. Next, enter your phone number to receive a verification code via SMS. Insert this code into the box presented by Amazon and click the Create Your Amazon Account button. On the next page, Amazon will ask you to enter your credit card number. Don't worry, it won't be charged because it's the free trial period. If you decide to continue your subscription, you will be charged $14.95 per month after the free trial period. Click on Add Your Card. After adding your credit card, you will be redirected to this page asking for your personal information such as first name, address, email, etc. Then click the Use This Address button. Once you have entered all the information requested by Amazon, you will finally arrive at this page. You will see that the book you have chosen is displayed, and all you have to do now is confirm it to listen to your audiobook. As you can see, the amount to be paid is $0. This first audiobook is completely free. Now click on the Try for Free button. Now your Audible account is created and you have access to your free audiobook. You can listen to the audiobook you chose directly on this Amazon page or on the Audible website. The most recent had been two years previously. I'd actually survived six months. I want to remind you once again that the method I've shown you here works with any book from the Amazon catalog, audiobooks offered by Audible. Now, all you need to do is go to the Audible website, use your Amazon information to log into your Audible account, email address and password, and once you're logged in, click on the Library menu. There you will find your free book, and all you have to do is click Listen Now to start listening. I'm not ashamed to admit that I cried like a baby. You also have the option to download the Audible app, which will make it easier and faster to listen to the audiobooks in your library. From this point on, you have two choices. The first choice is to keep your Audible subscription and agree to be charged $14.95 per month. This will give you a monthly credit that you can use to listen to or download any audiobook of your choice, regardless of its price. If you want to enjoy one audiobook per month regardless of its price, simply make use of your subscription. The second choice is to cancel your Audible account before the end of the 30-day period. This way, you won't be charged $14.95, and you can keep access to your free audiobook indefinitely. To cancel your account, go to your Audible account, hover over the menu where your first name is displayed, and click on the Account Details link. On the page that appears, click on the Cancel Membership link. Scroll down the page, then click on Continue to Cancel on the next page. Audible will ask you for the reason for your departure. You can provide the reason of your choice, and then at the bottom of the page, click the Continue Cancelling button. In this step, 
Audible will make a final attempt to keep you as a customer by offering you several deals that are truly interesting for audiobook enthusiasts. You can choose one of these offers if you wish to continue the adventure with Audible. Otherwise, click on Confirm Cancellation. There you go. Your Audible subscription is cancelled, and you still have your free audiobook in your library without paying anything. Your credit card has not been charged. Take a look. Together, we will verify if the offered book is still available after canceling the subscription. To do this, click on the Library menu. I confirm that the book is still here, available in your account. You can listen to it whenever you want by clicking the Listen Now button and listen to it as many times as you wish. I was crying because I knew that I was condemned to be a smoker for life. Now, if you want to enjoy a free book and listen to it at any time, Click on the link below this video and follow the steps I just described. Thanks to this, you can listen to your book for free anytime and as many times as you want in your Audible account.